my goodness, sometimes words are not enough to tell you how excited we get when we control the airwaves. Yes, sir, I tell you, super excited. We always look forward to doing this every week, day of the week, and this week is going to be a great one. Trust oh, me, guys. Oh, sure. A very warm welcome to everyone who's tuning in already. Your recipe for a great long time is back on TV. Mm -hmm. Feel free to connect with us on Instagram at TVC Connect and on Twitter with the hashtag is Splash on TVC. Let's get you fired up for the week. It's your girl, your home girl, the jewel in the crowd, the host with the most, and it's your girlfriend next door. My name is Honeyfoot. Yeah, we need a notepad to write everything down yes. during the crowd. <laughs> <laughs> it is your girl, Amanda Dara, and today you can call me Mandy. Wow. Yeah. And of course, ladies and gentlemen, this is Ryan S. This is S. I go by your name, King OJ. Well, you can call me OJ. That's where it is. And of course, it is it where is it what is. is. Yeah. <laughs> so let's get started as usual today on the yes, show. Yes, as usual, we have an amazing show for you today. Let's walk mm -hmm. you through it quickly. There is over the weekend coming up entertainment news, celebrity birthday shout outs, and rewind where we will take you through a quick history lesson of today in entertainment history. And of course, on Man Crush Monday, you'll be finding out who we are crushing on today. And of course, you get to digest today's edition of Daily Top 5. Mm -hmm. And of course, we we have Tweet View where Amanda will take us through all the crazy moments and crazy things happening on social media. And then we'll show some gratitude on the Chew It Up segment, after which we'll bring you a recap of all that you might have missed in the news. Yes, yes. sir, that's what it is. Okay, we will round it off with TSM where we'll be asking you to give your bank account an Arturian song title. This is deeper than deep, right? Yes. I can't wait. Before now, let's go on a <laughs> quick break and we will be right back to actually tell you what we are here or we here actually got up to over the weekend we'll yeah. be right back and stay here with us true that are you guys excited about that david's new project yes uh, good time. Uh, yeah like everybody likes it i mean i would say it's a lemonade so out super, of super. lemon situation yeah this particular yeah, song yeah this particular yeah. song is a lemonade out after, of after lemon. his freestyle yeah because <laughs> i when he put it on his page because it didn't really connect to me but when i now oh saw, we saw the freestyle like, it was oh, a bounce, yeah. yeah no i remember the meantime but because it sounded so nice <laughs> you, i didn't even remember that it was the same thing we were making fun of him for and i like david for that he always Amazing. does that super talented <laughs> artist anyways welcome back ladies and gentlemen yes you're watching entertainment splash and of course i'm in the building and pots in the building and of course amanda is in the building and right now we'll be talking about what we went um, what's happened over the weekend. Mm -hmm. So, um, ladies. Ah, <laughs> Sorry, I knew, I knew, I knew you say that. <laughs> so, I'm gonna you get about to. Uh, I mean, this weekend was a work weekend for me. So, on Friday, I had to be at like three locations. So, um, then I hosted in the evening. I got back home really tired. Then on Saturday, I went to work again. But this time around, it wasn't like presenting work. I still do like my computer. I still make use of my computer certificate on the side, yeah. Hey, cash then, out everywhere. <laughs> on Sunday, I went to church and I hosted um, this youth program. It was really amazing. I had an amazing time this weekend, but it wasn't exactly restful. Right. Yeah, Eventful. that's it. It was very eventful. Oni. Okay, so Friday, I think I left work really late. And then... Uh, <laughs> what were you doing? I wasn't... Uh, OJ. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> warn yourself. Warn, warn, once again. Uh, then on Saturday, it was work day for me. I was at the premiere of uh, Living in Bondage. And you know when you want to go to work like that, like when you leave your house, and so it's the whole day, actually. And, uh, I love I your outfits. And, <laughs> oh my God, look at mm. me. Okay, so some people might have been wondering why I'm looking weird right there. It's because That's of the theme, theme yeah. yes, mm -hmm. uh, Demons in Diamonds. So mm -hmm. I had to go for a gothic, uh, you know, makeup uh, right there. It was a very beautiful one, only that, you know, at the end of the day, I got really, really tired. I mean, getting home and all that. I think mm -hmm. I got home like 3 a.m. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I packed behind everybody. So you know how they'll come and wake you up early in the morning oh. again. Oh. It was as if I was just sleepwalking and all that. Oh. And then I went back to sleep and then <laughs> got to do other things. And uh, here we are, Monday. Did you enjoy uh, the movie? Yes, I did. I did, but I'm not going to actually give any spoilers. Like I enjoyed, <laughs> I enjoyed the movie. I mean, I think it was um, 
uh, it, cut, it gets your attention all through. At the beginning, I was wondering though, because I was really looking forward to it because of what people were saying about mm -hmm, it and mm -hmm. all that. But I won't spoil it for people who still want to see it. And I got reactions and I think a lot of people had good things to say about mm. it or maybe they're just being nice. Yeah, honey. <laughs> okay, what about myself, you? Um, on Friday, quiet Friday, um, because I'm still tired. Um, don't ask me what I did. Um, Saturday, as usual, it was DJ Neptune's concert. Mm. So Turn we had, up. Yeah, we had to be there to represent. Shout out to all of you that thought um, the event would start by five. That event did not start on time. <laughs> Did I tell you? I told you now. No, I told we're rushing you. because of you. For a music time. Yeah, we're, a rush, music... We're, we're rushing because of you. Okay. And shout out to everybody that um, I saw over the weekend. Yes, people that will give tickets right here on the show. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I saw all of you. Even with the cap mm. and in the night, people oh. were still seeing me. And... That's true. <laughs> so I know. Shout out to all of you I saw at DJ Neptune's concert. And of course, on Sunday, because it was all night. So I didn't sleep. My sleeping pattern is messed up right now. Yeah, yeah I can I did, I, relate. After, after the turn up, which was into the morning, mm -hmm. then I had to go to church again. Mm. Yes, I went to you church. You made church. Yeah. That's hallelujah. Praise be to John. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I, sh I, sh I shout out to everybody too that I saw in church. Yeah. Shout out to all of you. Actually, I have, I have a shout out. I have a couple of shout outs for you guys. So I went to a popular eatery um, in Ikeja after church. And they're like, and I was playing, you no, know, because you know how they say, move to this line. And the other person was like, no, move to this line. I said, like, what do you guys want? Which one of me? Like, am I this important? Do you want my autograph? <laughs> and then she was like, oh, I don't mind because I watch you on TV. I'm like, oh. I was joking. I was just joking. Like, I thought she you might know, <laughs> I felt I was being for real. And then she was like, I really want to meet you guys. Bring OJ, bring Honeypot, bring Arike. Let them Come on, eat. So Sunday went to church, got back from church, couldn't still sleep. Oh. Now slept in the evening. That's messed up my sleeping pattern. So I woke up early in the morning and started watching movies because it's Halloween weekend. I had to watch scary movies. Oh my God! Uh, look at who you. told you? Who told you? I just had, I just had to. Then I watched wow. Power too. The final um, episode for season six. I was just. And I have a spoiler, no, ladies no, and don't spoil it. Somebody died. Huh? Power. Oh, go away. Somebody died. I, yeah. I was actually thinking that I would not even have to go out yesterday. But you know, my phone my phone has been rejecting my charger that came with it. And I'm saying that. <laughs> Get the charger that came with it. Honey, we spoke about this on Friday. <laughs> Do we need to contribute? Go fund me. So you know what? I have to go out to go and buy charger. I bought it expensively. That's another gist for ah, another day. Is it working? <laughs> <laughs> all right, sh sh shout out to all of you I saw over the weekend. And a shout out to Mommy Aborua. Thank you for the food. What? Wow. <laughs> all right, guys, that's it on Over the Weekend. We'll be right back with Entertainment News. Keep it up. <laughs> <laughs> okay, it is time for entertainment news. And we start with this one. London Metropolitan Police reinstates BB Niger's Kaffee. The London Metropolitan Police are reportedly reinstated ex big brother Niger housemate Kaffee Karim following our participation in 2019 edition of the reality show. According to UK's Mirror newspaper, Kaffee said she has been asked to return to work following a meeting with our superiors. She was quoted to have said, Work has been really great. We've been speaking and communicating. They asked me when I'd be coming back to work and I'm not sure when I'm going to go back yet. I want to get back as soon as possible and passionate about keeping London safer. If you recall, some weeks ago, Kafi was uh, reported to have caused outrage among Met senior officers in the UK after allegedly appearing on Bibi Niger without permission. What further fueled the fire and got people debating on and offline was that Kafi appeared to be having sex on screen with fellow contestant Gidoni. Yes, however, in this reinstatement story published by The Mirror, it was reported that Kafi had actually tried to get approval from our superiors to appear on the reality show, but went ahead after not hearing back from them. And she was here on the show. We <laughs> asked her the question. Mm -hmm. She said and, she and took she permission. Said she took permission. And I think she has also said that she wasn't having sex at the time, yeah, yeah. that it just looked that way. Um, for me, I don't even think that's my, you know, bone of contention. I think for me, it's the fact that she said she's passionate about keeping London safer. You know, it just, when I say that, I mean, Obviously, I know that she has had her background in London and this is where she has been working. Yes, but it just shows me that sometimes, you know, we like to claim like, oh, this is our own fellow Nigerian sister, whatever the case may be. But she wants to go back because that is home to her. Mm -hmm. And that's why I'm like, perhaps we should have <laughs> kept okay. it. 
you know. So uh, I think that from what she said when she came on the show, uh, she was excited about Nigeria. Mm -hmm. uh, she loves Nigeria. She's getting she, gigs and, here already. And, and she's getting gigs here already. Uh, she got, um, you know, the debate she had in the house. She spoke well about Nigeria. People were really impressed and they saw her as beautiful, intelligent and all that. But then... If you had a work, a, a job that you've been doing, and you can look at the future and you know that, uh, you know, that work is always going to be in place for you. I mean, I don't know, but I mean, looking at the future, even if you're getting gigs here, and this is just like, you know, some creative work kind of thing, but then something that is so certain for you in the UK, are you going to leave it to come to Nigeria? Why I mean, not? I mean, we have shown her love right here. We have opened, we have embraced her. As you said, she's getting endorsements. And she's hosting, I wish she, she said to back. be hosted. Uh, yeah. to host the future, the future awards. awards. So, so I, 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 I think it's a trap. Hmm. I think it's a trap. Looking at how the whole thing played out from the publication in the newspaper, and right now they say they're in talks. Maybe they've negotiated a good, a good term that when she comes back, she might just do six few months and she resign properly instead hmm. of them just sacking her. Because they were complaining. Uh, now that she's out, they were was complaining, saying, and I think she did a damage control because uh, perhaps she really had sex. I'm just saying, like, mm -hmm, perhaps mm -hmm. she really had sex in the house and she just made it because they already spoke to her, like, you can't come out and say, yeah, agree to this. this. So she said, uh, of course, she even said that she was celebrated before and all that, so that they can buy the story. I mean, when yeah. you tend that the story right there. But for a job that there is future in it, for you, you would leave it to come and be because of the things you're getting. Now, I, I like the fact that you mentioned that because in as much as you're saying, you know, there's a job and she yes. didn't have the sex or whatever, I think if we're being real here, Met is obviously going to be paying her better than anything you. that she can get right here. She probably has more job security. But that is a slap on our faces as Nigerians because if we were smart enough, we should be looking on how to integrate her into our own system here to be making yeah, Nigeria... Met, met police should talk to our Nigerian police too. I mean, if she, oh, if she, if she, had, if she yes, had a better no. offer... If she, if she had continue. a better offer right here, I think she would have stayed. Amanda and OJ. Met police should talk you to Nigerian guys, police... I don't understand what you're saying, Nigeria. Are you, where are you going to start from? Like, where? Hmm. That's the problem. <clears throat> Let's just move on. <laughs> All right, moving on to the foreign scene. Solange Knowles announces police from husband Alan Ferguson. American singer Solange Knowles has announced that she and her video director husband of five years, Alan Ferguson, have parted ways. Solange, who is usually quite private about her personal life, explained that after months of speculation, she felt compelled to share, and I quote, to protect the sacredness of her personal truth. In an Instagram post, she opened up about the personal journey that led her to the decision as well as the split itself. Now she wrote, 11 years ago, I met a, a phenomenal man who changed every existence of my life. Early this year, we separated and parted ways. And though it ain't nobody's business, I find it necessary to protect the sacredness of my personal truth and to live in it fully, just as, ha as I have before and continue to do. It is unfair to not have power on your own story and of your shape and mold and rewrite it yourself. Um, uh, she says she's not per perfect, but she's le leaning into the fear of the unknown and all the glory and power I know that exists within God and the universe grace. Now in conclusion, she added, may all your transitions, no matter how big or small, be kind to you and filled with incredible love and light. Solange and Alan Ferguson got married in November 2014 in an all white ceremony whose photos got many of us talking back then after six years of dating, of course. Solange has a 15 year old son named Jules, um, from her previous marriage to Daniel Smith. And then, yes, she put sad this on her though. Instagram page. It's yeah. very sad. But I feel she's very right about what she was talking about. You know, it's nobody's business, but she felt the need to protect the secretness of the truth. Because you know how it is when you're a celebrity and you're out there and people have their versions of your own story <laughs> that is not even real. And it's like, don't rewrite my story. I have a right to shape or mold whatever story, how my story is going to be, what my story really is. And I don't want you coming to give off speculations. And I like the fact that she cleared the air because I know how the paparazzi can be where they want to make money out of this. This is the headline story. news, what caused the breakup. Oh, we believe uh, rumors have it that somebody was cheating. They just 
just find stories out of Even nowhere. with clearing the air, people still have stuff to say. So people said, oh, you that slapped uh, Beyonce's husband in the elevator, you now finally cheated on your husband and you're allegedly. not coming out mm. allegedly and then you're not coming out to tell us this, that, 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 that. I know somebody who was actually really fighting for Solange saying that you guys don't know anything about the story. Stop saying stuff that you don't know. Later, you'd not even delete all of these things. You people are just wicked. Like that person really took it personal. And I am saying, once again, I hate divorce. I don't like it. It breaks my heart. I don't know what went down. But then, as she said, she uh, has, uh, you know, all the rights to protect the sacredness of our truth, as she said. But even at that, people will still believe whatever thing they want to believe. So, do you, boo? Do it's, you? Ju it's, it's just sad. Another day, another celebrity uh, marriage Break breakup. Up. And five years. They tried now, five years. They tried. <laughs> and quick quick fact, um, Alex was the one. 11 years ago. Yeah, they, they were friends 11 mm. years ago. Their marriage officially five years. And quick fact, um, um, Alex was the one that directed Whiskey's Come Closer video, the one with the Ankara mm -hmm. pattern. Oh, so it's yeah. a video director directing um, some of Solange's projects. Anyways, moving on to our next story. Bonaboy wins Best African Act at the 2019 MTV Europe Music Awards. Yes, the 2019 MTV Europe Music Award held over the weekend in Seville, Spain. And even though it was a big night of wins for mm -hmm. women in the industry, our very own Bonaboy still scored a major win. True to his title, the African giant Bonaboy took home the award for Best African Act. Yes, other winners of the night include Shawn Mendes, who won the Best Artist Award, Billy Eilish won the Best New Artist Award, and the Best Song Award for a smash hit, Bad Guy. Nicki Minaj won the Best Hip Hop Award, and Taylor Swift won the Best Video for a song, Me, featuring Brandon Ure of Panic at the Disco. Bonaboy Boy was not in attendance at the MTV EMAs, <laughs> but it wasn't for no just cause. The singer was busy making headlines at his events in London, UK. The event, which held at the SSE Arena Wembley, was another big leg of his multi city African giant tour, which has already taken him to several cities in the US and across Europe. And the SSE Arena is a 12,500 capacity arena close to Wembley Stadium in London, and Bonner Boy reportedly sold it out, making him the first Afrobeat act to sell out the SSE Arena. And as you can imagine, it's a big trending. It's Bonaboy right now is trending on Twitter because it shut down that venue down. Hmm. So let's even leave the award because on a good day where we talk about Bonaboy doesn't attend the award mm -hmm. or he doesn't get on stage to receive his award. Mm. But this one is for a good cause. It was busy touring and it was in London shutting it down which is a big capacity, 12,500,000. Is it as big as O2? O2 is the biggest. O2 is 20, the biggest. 20,000. Um, 20, okay, so but this is the biggest in London. This is O2. It's still, okay, still, still the same place, yeah. Okay. But O2 is the biggest. This is the second biggest. And of course, shout out to Bonaboy for representing Africa. Shut it down. Various artists performed on that particular stage. Um, there was Whiskey. Whiskey was there. And it's crazy. Whiskey, we saw him on Saturday. On Saturday. And <laughs> with you his did? bestie. Yeah, with his bestie. They were at DJ Neptune's <laughs> concert. She was savage. Okay, because he didn't mention name. And he just said with his bestie. Everybody so I, knows. <laughs> no. Oh, you should be clear. Let us know. Say it again. No, no, yes, said it. <laughs> okay, you know it now. Which is the only best thing that we know. And of course, he still went ahead to represent Africa and support Bonaboy. The video too was on stage. And of course, shout out to so Bonaboy. Nice. This year, hmm. last year, 2020. Last year, this year. And probably 2020, Bonaboy. Honestly, boy. it's not, it's bon not just Bonaboy's year. It's been Bonaboy's year yes. for some time I, I, right I, now. Like <laughs> Bonaboy knows music, is doing real music. Uh, and some of his songs you hear and you can relate. Messages. Like, you know that he has yeah. stories, messages, yeah. and all that. And people are still accepting it. We're talking about this this morning. Yes, I mean, some people work so hard. And people, Nigerians end up talking about, ah, they don't do good lyrics. But they're not buying their songs. But they're buying the Pangolo music. Mm -hmm. So I think for Burner Boy, I mean, it's it's just a superstar. Mm -hmm. Well said. I mean, as you said, we we're talking about it earlier, and I said I think Burner Boy is one person who has been able to infuse lyrical content into his music and still, and still get people it. jamming dance into it. it. You know, mm -hmm. because you might, you it might, if you don't even pay attention, you might not know how deep some of his lyrics mm -hmm. are. Mm -hmm. And yeah. I like the fact that he's doing that, and people are loving it mm -hmm. internationally, globally, very soon. Yeah. He'll and collect was... one Chinese award now. <laughs> as you <in> just imagine. <laughs> and, and he was nominated alongside our very own Tenny too, but somebody had to pick that award, and Bonaboy represented. Really Presented for Nigeria and Africa. So congratulations, congratulations to him. <laughs> congratulations. All right, moving on. That's it on entertainment news. It is now time for our celebrity birthday shout out. Woo! Now, celebrating today are the following people Nigerian billionaire, 
businessman and philanthropist Femi Otedola turns 57 today, guys. Congratulations. 57. And One Otedola person is like that a, we all love. Yeah, and yeah. it's like a celeb right now. If it's not, he if it's not his daughter, Copy, that's making Gelato. him sing, like, sing by force. We spoke about it one day that somebody <laughs> had the nerve to actually say he's cloud chasing on Instagram. I was like, who are you? <laughs> Do you know who you're talking to? Cloud, what? Ah, so, of, you know, it's he, popular right now. He has now. his good sides and the bad sides, the social media For thing that is happening. Yes. But we are very happy to be able to see his private life as well and his interaction with his mm -hmm. daughters. Mm -hmm. I think it's very sweet. The other day they were at um, the, the Buckingham Palace. Palace. Yes, they were. Yes, the and the that words. was so cute. I yeah. liked it. Mm. All right, happy birthday to him. Also celebrity today is Nigerian talk show host, TV presenter, and of course, philanthropist Agatha Amata. She turns 50 today. Is the Do big you have 50 speech for her? For you have her. A speech, yeah. Hmm. <laughs> um, well, I mean, personally, I believe that Agatha Amata is one incredible woman who sees talents in everybody. I've seen her firsthand look at uh, somebody who used to be a cleaner, tell her you can be so much more, mm. and train her to become a receptionist. Wow. That's the kind of woman she is. She's a person that believes that there is something in everybody. I'm not going to just um, type, no, no, I don't know what the word is. I'm not going to put Stereotype. you down because of you. where you are, the class you are in. I believe that you can be much more than that. She's an amazing woman. Yes, and happy birthday <laughs> to her. Now, on the foreign scene, American actor and producer, Matthew McConney also turns 50 today. Now, he has had an acting, act, uh, acting career since the 90s. I might remember him since uh, the early 2000s for his ability to nail his romantic comedy roles. Now, whether it's a thriller, a drama, a comedy, leave it to Matthew McConney to give his all to all that he's doing. Bad and game. he's aging quite well as well. Mm -hmm. I mean, he's just one person that is uh, he's ruggedly handsome. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Well, yeah. I like and that. I like and that. very funny too. <laughs> yeah, and has dimples. All the things that make up my kind of crush. Oh, oh, so really? Moving on. Is to... that he has dimples now. Oh, no wonder. <laughs> <He's not happy>. <laughs> <laughs> no wonder. Happy birthday to him. Now, guys, can you guess who's also 50 today? Hmm. Me? Yay! American rapper, <laughs> record producer, entrepreneur, record executive, and actor Sean Combs, a.k.a. Puff, Puff Daddy, Daddy or a.k.a. P. Daddy, P. Daddy or Puffy, Puffy Didi. Didi. What's the other one you put again? This is X. <laughs> oh, go away. Go away. Go away. I, I actually love uh, DD. I was going to say Puff Daddy because, you know, how he yeah. even how he does it, changing his name mm. and in He has a new one. That. I think he's in love. What did he put? Yes, love. love. He said love. love at that time, but we didn't buy it. Mm. That's the reason he didn't stay because he had been it's changing so many names on he us. Said, he said he wants to do it again now. So, DD Love, happy <laughs> birthday to you. Happy birthday happy to birthday. him. And of course, happy birthday to you, 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 and you that are celebrating today we love you we're sending you peace light happiness and we pray that this is the least you'll ever be Preach right? it. yes Preach it. <laughs> <laughs> Amen. it's man crush monday and our man crush today is american actor michael bakari jordan since making his acting debut in an episode of The Sopranos in 1999 and breaking out as Wallace in The Wire in 2002, Michael B. Jordan has gone on to star in several Ryan Coogler helmed films, including Black Panther. This is for my father. Bill Station and Creed. Although Jordan is one of the biggest names in Hollywood today, he didn't grow up dreaming of becoming an actor. He was a model who also featured in commercials appearing in advertisements for companies and those gigs led to a small role on The Sopranos, which is when Jordan started thinking big. Although Jordan has a lot of talent, he has credited much of his success to being in the right place at the right time. In a recent interview, Jordan recalled how he struggled after moving to Los Angeles and came very close to quitting the acting game altogether. I lived my entire life waiting for this moment. But then, he bumped into Andre Royer, who played Bubbles on The Wire, and Andre helped him look at his situation from a different perspective. Fortunately, Jordan listened, and we are glad about that. You can get him and keep moving forward. Now here are five things we do not know about Michael Bakari Jordan. We all need mercy. He grew up in a religious household and considers himself to be spiritual. 
Jordan has plans to take his behind-the-scenes work further by becoming a one-man movie studio. Michael B. spends his free time collecting graphic novels and watching anime. He was homeschooled but was allowed to play on the basketball team at the New Jersey's New Walk Arts High School. The B in Michael B. Jordan's name stands for Bakari, which means of noble promise in Swahili. We love us some Michael B. Jordan and that is why he's our man crush today. Alright guys, this is Tweetville bringing you all the savagery, humor and craziness that social media has to offer in 5 minutes or less. Are you guys ready? Totally. Yes. Alright, our first tweet says, you're in love with someone who doesn't, doesn't mean that you totally open up to them about your past. Now I told my husband many years ago that a day went by and I did not have my bath. And since then, when he's going to shower, he says, hmm, let me go and bath so before I break somebody's yeah. record. <laughs> <laughs> Petty much. But I like, I like this kind of husband, man. Like you... For bath, for cruise. Yeah. So you rub it in her face. You rub it in her face. Hmm. If I break somebody's so you... I don't... I asked today. My mother would not just cast us in time to come because, you see... That's okay, you can't take your bath, too. No! That's what I'm going to say. That's what you're saying, Daniel. Because Daniel... Um, <laughs> you see, what, that's exactly what you're doing. Do we'll not rest. <laughs> <laughs> All right, moving on to some more tweets. Look at this uh, emoticon's face, though. That's so funny. <laughs> and this thing has been trending on Twitter, Bumbo Clats. It's like our new school mm, to Mana. Yeah, yeah, and then there's a picture of um, Danish cookies. And um, somebody's tweeting and says, it is easier for a camel to pass to the eye of a needle than for one to open this container and see actual cookies. <laughs> this is, where is the lie? My family is on this table. Everybody's, fa everybody's Everybody. Nigerian parents is on this table. Uh, no, they even use for uh, kids, tailoring kids, vanity kids. If it's not Man. thread, thread and needle, tape measure. Earring um, and bangles. <sighs> Hi, mom. Then the other one that is like this is um, that ice cream container. You can never see ice cream inside. If it's not a it's goosey, soup. It's, soup. it's vegetable. <laughs> What's the problem? Come on, come on. <laughs> I saw this with OJ. Was it OJ or somebody I saw Danish cookies for mm. real like this time? No, it's the ice cream container. No, no, no. So I saw one recently and yeah. I was like, oh my gosh. Like, And cookies. I found cookies inside. I'm like, oh. yeah, that me. is like it's national me. treasure it's right me. there. It's you. It's me right there. Okay. Wow. Thank you. And guess what? In this age, Danish cookies. Uh, it's sweet now. No, no, no. Uh -huh. it's, it's, it's like um, St. Louis. You don't mess with it. <laughs> yeah. It's a brand. <laughs> All right. Another one from Chief the Daddy. And he says, HR manager. We will get back to you. New me. Swear with your life. <laughs> no. Cross your hearts. Every manager. Because everybody gets every back Every CEO. To you. Everybody gets a scam. So now, to tell you that it's really a scam, even the C and the K is clearing up. <laughs> <laughs> They're not sure. We'll get back to you. But like this so thing. So she, she will be doing this now? No. Managers, please just be honest. If you're not going to get back to us, just say, thank you so much for coming. Just refund us our transport fare. You can be going home and looking for another job. Don't tell us we'll get back to I you. you. I don't get you. Do no, I don't do it. Eh. No. I don't. I'll oh, get back to you. Don't worry. Ah. Uh -huh. The only time I can do something like that is if I enter a store. <laughs> And then I just look at the prices. Okay, okay, I've seen them. Nice. So do you like it? Do you like it? Mm, I'll, 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 I should come back soon. I'll give it to you. You should, too, you should look at that, that it is so uncertain. So somebody asked me to uh, give money to a particular course. And I did not have money at that point. And I said, on this one, I'll get back to you. I was so surprised that she just forwarded the account details to me. <laughs> and I said, I just said, you're not going to force yes, me. Yes, now, when you're ready to and get back to me. And people try to say, Take. that when you hear, we will get back to you. It's a scam. It's to know. Scam, yeah. Why not? yeah. It's a scam. Because you Nigerians, ah. Africans, people who don't take no. <laughs> So you that's, just prefer that's taking that. That's not even good at all. <laughs> <laughs> that's not good at all. All right, moving on to some more tweets. <clears throat> you know, be going around and be saying, swear, swear with your This name. is from Uncle Dean, <laughs> and he's talking about, you know, English and Yoruba language play. Yeah. And in English, he's like, we're eating okra. <laughs> in Yoruba, funny pot, help me out. What is this? Angela. <laughs> <laughs> Which is spelled as Angela. But wait, will any Yoruba person see Angela and say, Angela, Angela, I've been calling you. No, it doesn't sound good. Are you like, sure? Uh, no, uh, people do it. I Angela. Think, I don't even know if I'm going to pronounce her Have name. Have you seen Michael and Angela? From the 90 days. Period. Yes. So, so, so we don't now say Angela, Angela. We are calling you. I think sound somehow like that. Yeah, person was really, really big. You know, so, like, <laughs> no, but no. this person is creative, Shad. So come on. 
Wow. Wow. Yeah, because I never even thought of it. We're in eating my own. okra. I mean, I'm I've jealous. never ever. <laughs> <laughs> Is that all we have? Of course, we are crazy. Oh. Okay, we have one more. <clears throat> another bumble clap movement and he says when you see your wife coming out of a hotel with another man but you can't do anything because you are also in a business coach yeah. coach <laughs> meeting in abuja so what are you didn't see yourselves i mean do you didn't see her and but now deep her? down now you now know that your wife is cheating uh, but wait don't you wait, to cheat but now but you know wait, that your wife is I mean, in your church mind if you're not going to judge the whole matter like if yeah. you're going to so what do you say you now say somebody said they saw you somewhere how will you Put that instead yes, of you to just forget about it, no, can't forget it. and don't repent so that the next time you now catch your My wife. My friend was at Soso Hotel and they saw you with a man. What were you doing? I was in Abuja. Guys, what were you doing with that man? Women are generally tired of men's cheating. So if you want to go and cheat, no wahala. And men are not tired of cheating. No, people they feel it like it's their right. Don't you think so, Jay? Eh, I don't. I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm not you're not too sure about that. <laughs> but then I'm very happy that she showed you that women and men were equal. All right, gender equality. So can be cheating. Okay. Everybody can be cheating. Yes. Hey, I'm also so, in Abuja. So, so, yeah. Say it again. This journey that you're about to embark on <laughs> is not a good journey at all. I don't know what will be the end of the journey. I wish you well. <laughs> Thank you very much, Amanda. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, we'll go on a break and, of course, to wrap up the first leg of the show. Stay here with us. <laughs> And we yes, are yes, back, yeah. back, 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 back. It is still your favorite lunch hour show, the entertainment splash. And so far, we've brought you over the weekend, the news, rewind, Man Crush Monday, and of course, Tweetville. It is now time for us to chew it off in a minute or less. One of us will tell us what she is currently grateful for. And the table falls on honey, honey, honey. What are you grateful for? Your, your hands. Okay, well, well sister, yeah, just tell us. Your <laughs> Thank you so, <laughs> thanks so much, brother and sister. <laughs> I am actually grateful for every <sighs> single thing. Tell us what the Lord has done. Breath, health, everything. Thing. You mm -hmm. know how we say that, oh, we're not where we want to be yet, so, but we are grateful that we're not where we, we used, used to be. be. Mm -hmm. But see, mm -hmm. I am just so grateful. And I want to use this opportunity to tell you watching me now mm -hmm. that do not let anybody take your joy mm -hmm. away from you. Mm -hmm. Yes, it's coming to the end of the year. Mm -hmm. You might be thinking, oh, this year, what have I achieved? What have I done? What have... Just be grateful. Just be happy. When there is life, there is hope. Mm -hmm. You see, mm. 2020 is going to be greater. Hallelujah. Keep it coming. Yes. All right, so I just want to tell you that <laughs> I am just grateful for every single thing once yes. again. And we are grateful with you. The Lord is good. All, All the, the time. time. So, <laughs> All right. Uh, based on this note. testimony now, launch on you, Abby. Now, there's one of Father Ryan. There's one <laughs> of all you must have missed in the news. Are you trying to escape? And we started with <laughs> London Metropolitan Police reinstated BB Niger's coffee. Yes, then we told you that Solange knows announces her split from husband Alan Ferguson. And Bonaboy wins Best African Act at the 2019 MTV Europe Music Awards and, of course, shut down the show in London. Yes, we'll take a break right now. And when we come back, it will be time for Daily Top 5. Daily On the port, top where are you taking us? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, yes sir. thank you so much for staying here with us. And now it's time for Daily to Five. Yes. Five, four, three, two, one. Let go. Alrighty, so procrastination is something most of us can relate to. Whether you're a student, an employee, or a business owner, procrastination is something that can slow down productivity if you don't get it under control. So let's help you with five tips for curbing procrastination. And we start with the first one, get organized. You can't do any work if you don't know what you need to go. Get a planner or use the calendar or a notepad app on your phone, it makes it easier to keep track of tasks, assignments, and important deadlines. <laughs> hmm. I think I'm on this table today because I'm the queen of procrastination. Everybody will be on this table. This Honestly, table. but to-do to list actually helps, and even a calendar as well. So it's right about that. It's just about when you see it, 
Make sure you actually go do it and not and press not remind me later or something. Snooze. <laughs> so, I used to I used to think of, about this a long time ago, but then I never really put it into practice. But you see, last year, December, mm -hmm. I did this, and they are the goals I actually worked on this year with mm -hmm. the help of God. Now I'm mm -hmm. going spiritual. Mm -hmm. And even the Bible says it's like, write it on the wall, run with this. You remember that place, have a cock? Uh, okay. <laughs> yeah. So the thing is, just write it <laughs> and be sure that you're looking at it every time and you're yeah. working with it. Yeah. So I, I think that helps. That's it helps fantastic. me this year, and I'm grateful. Oh, Hallelujah. Yeah. Sure we are learning. Praise <laughs> to the Lord. All right, number two on our list, yes, get simple achievable goals. Yes, part of the reason we procrastinate is because the task at hand seems too daunting, so don't overload yourself. It's a lot easier to get started on a project when you establish simple attainable goals rather than big plans that intimidate you. Instead of telling yourself, I'll read biology tonight, just say, I will read chapter six tonight. This makes your goals less mm -hmm. intimidating and more attainable yeah this is very true so don't go and be doing mm, mm. today mm. or tomorrow i want to be the president of nigeria yeah you can be the presidential don't mind me yeah but even, <laughs> even, though, even if you use that example you can be the president you of nigeria but you have to start with Working. your school yes. okay i want what to be the doing? class yes. president or oh, i want to run for school what do they call it you know school rep yeah. sug exactly then from government. there you want to go to local government chairman so i actually very much agree with this one and start volunteering down. to in your community mm. start doing small small work help them to feel like maybe even if you don't have money put sand on inside the portal help them like do small small things oh. That like my streets need help, Sha. So if you want to come over, what all right. The you, you can start. So just organize people in your street on a Saturday on a weekend sand. that you, know you don't have, and, and do then it. start doing it. Small, small. Just do it. Just do all right. it. We'll do it. We'll do it. Nice thing. <laughs> all right. Create a timeline or schedule. Now, after you set your goals, create a timeline to complete them. For example, tomorrow I will study chapter five, and on Wednesday I will study chapter six. Or if it's an essay, tomorrow I will write the introduction and the first three paragraphs. Now, breaking tasks into small chunks over time make it much more manageable. This is like what well, similar to what we just mm -hmm. said. It's very mm -hmm. good. Give yourself a timeline. In as much as you are breaking it down, don't also break it down like okay. I'll do this today, but you don't know when you're going to complete the next part. So it's like, okay, let me give myself this week. This week, I'm going to do this, 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 this. Next week, because that's the way you can even follow up whether you are achieving your goals or not. So it's a yes, good one. it's true. Set a deadline. So many people get trapped in the cycle of one day, I'll do it. The truth is, one day may never come, mm -hmm. especially because it's not specific. It's important to set a specific date for when you want your goals to be accomplished. If you have a task, Aim to have it completed one or two days in advance so that if something unexpected happens, you still have extra time to complete it. Hey, and God. this is such mm. a beautiful one. When yeah. am I going to work with Jay-Z and Didi? I want to intern under these people. <laughs> one, someday, one day you do someday. it. But you have to work towards it. Let's set the timeline. So, yeah. so, so when you say someday and um, it's a goal like that, mm. uh, you, you can just pray about because sometimes so those things are actually ambiguous. Then you put a step forward. That is, maybe you, you send Let's a message to, this. you send a DM, mm -hmm. you, you start following them, mm -hmm. you start commenting, you mm -hmm. do something. You make I'm them notice you. Fan. You, I, I, you, I you make them notice you. <laughs> no worries. Jay-Z is, Jay is my dear. See that fine artist that uh, yeah, Kevin Hart noticed exactly. and said, that, see, I'm going to buy it off you and all and that. And he lives in the northern part of yeah. Nigeria. So mm. there is no way. I mean, the internet technology has, has made changed it so everything. easy. So, That's true. Yeah. I will get there someday. Yes, <laughs> wrapping up our daily top five. Number five, get rid of distraction. Yes, it's, it's important to get rid of all potential disruption before you begin working so you don't get unnecessarily distracted halfway through. If you tend to spend too much time on Facebook or Instagram when you should be working, then put your phone off all the way off. Distractions mm. can also be external like friends or even colleagues. Try listening to music to drown out their voices and focus on your work. I, yeah. do, this, I do this a lot. Mm -hmm. Listening to music because I really want to do this, so I just need full concentration. Yeah, in school, I, I know some people who used to listen to music so they could read their books, but I wasn't one of those people. So I, 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 I couldn't, I couldn't relate I because couldn't. I would just start dancing. I would, <laughs> I would just I so I, 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 truly, I didn't know that I have mm. somebody in this boat with me because I am one of such people to I cannot listen to uh, I can't listen to music and, and read. Do, I can't. I, can, I to need music. total total concentration mm -hmm. to read. Mm -hmm. So I, I wonder how people did it that time. I felt that ah, these ones were geniuses or something Shash. like that. 
Should I give and you then songs? people will just like, what we used to, songs? Well, go yeah. away. <laughs> what we used to study, where, where I used to go and read ODLT at night sometimes yeah. in effect. So you just see that uh, people will come to sell like chewing gum biscuits. They would have so, so many. Like I'm like, so people will be eating and reading. Me, I can eat before, but when I want to read. Full concentration. Full. Because I'm not read Jack. Mm, mm. Uh, you need to, oh, you have to know yourself. You need, you need to but listen to some songs. Phone, a phone is a major distraction, and it's mm -hmm. good that you mentioned yeah. it. And you said turn, turn it, it all, all the way off. off. Because Me, we did not social really media. Have that time now. Ha. Ha. But there's something oh, that. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and the phone I had. <laughs> It was, yeah. it was like this, yeah. <laughs> Actually, for me, when I was in school, it was Blackberry, but there was never network, so oh, it didn't right. change anything. Right. But then another thing that uh, you know, Instagram or social media has done now is that you can actually check the amount of time that you are spending. You can monitor your time yeah, on apps, even on your phones. Mm -hmm. You can check how many hours, how many minutes should I spend so that you can monitor it. Because sometimes, you know, turning off your phone, you might turn off your phone five minutes later, put it back on. So why don't you time yourself for that? <laughs> 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 All right, that's it. On daily top five we're going to take a break right now and we'll be back with tsm now remember that the question is give your bank account a nigerian song hmm. <laughs> we'll be back to talk more stick around <laughs> Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Welcome back to the show, ladies and gentlemen. It's time for TSM. And of course, the question we're asking is if you could give your bank account a Nigerian song title, which would it be? So, ladies, on the pot, mm. give your bank mm. account. That's bank account that you still give me money from. Give it a Nigerian song title. Hmm. <laughs> it is Michael Creole. Is it Michael Creole that did it go better? It go better. No, 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 no. It's that, those are friends that came that day now. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> it go better, it go better, it go better for me. I go get money, I go get picking. I, I said, one, 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 one day, one day, one day go back. They have asked, well, they have started this. They have asked for my. Honeypots, we can't believe you. You have money. As you look at Honeypots, slain every day. I, I Dubai, Dubai. Dubai, Dubai. <laughs> and you go today. <laughs> You just chill in Nigeria one week. You go back I again. Think two uh -uh. times. You have no. money. Oh, wow. Change the song. Give it another Nigerian song title. One day, one day, <laughs> one day, go better, my people. It go better, it go better, it go better for me. Okay, we'll try to believe you now. Yeah, we will we'll try to believe you. <laughs> oh, wow. Well. Hmm. Nigerian song title. I think it depends on what part of the month we're talking about. Is it like. At the end moment. of end of the like the right moment. now. Oloruma Jeo, that the band song. Oloruma uh -huh. <laughs> so, Jeo. There's no money inside. Ah. <laughs> you the situation. To, you just got back from Dubai now. Uh, did we spend a uh, calories all of, in all Dubai? All of you that went to Dubai, all of you that are chilling on social media, you cannot be giving us all no. these lies. Why we're spending money now? So like, yeah. exactly. Do we like, have we, surplus for you to be there to spend money? We have to spend our money by ourselves, you know? Uh, yeah. I what? work hard for this money, guys. I work hard. I toil. <laughs> you don't get. So sometimes I change it for some people. And like... the problem with money is that, especially when you're earning a salary, before the money even comes, it has gone. I don't know if that happens to you. Like, I already have, like, so many Plans. things. So many people, like, I, I get I get the money, and, it, like, in the next five minutes, it has disappeared. What happened That's to like me? I went to the mall yesterday. I now bought one thing, one thing. I got to my was thinking about my life. I was... <laughs> Do you know how you are chastising yourself and you say, do you really need that thing? <laughs> what do you need that thing for? I mean, I do it to myself. I don't know whether I'm so hard on myself. So I'm like, you're just spending money. Okay, be prudent. Be pr <laughs> I'm talking to myself. So you know, I, you know how I bring myself out of myself? So when I do something, I say, hola, Yemi. Are you listening? <laughs> <laughs> you drop honey pot. Ah, what about you, I'm talking about this. That's what my account, my account is singing. Easy, JJ by Ricardo Banks. <laughs> okay. And, and Rora. Because I noticed over the weekend, I just decided, based on, they just paid. Mm. You know, you want to treat yourself nicely. And that's why I just went and spent some kind of money. And now the account is telling me, my guy, easy, JJ. JJ, thank you. you get broke, slow. you want to steal. November I just started now. <laughs> And it's a wrap already. Hmm. Onto money. That's why I need money from wow. you. By the way. But so others, I... others it go better than you're thinking it. It's not working. It's not, <laughs> it's not, it's not working for me. <laughs> what but... are these dates though? <clears throat> Fourth of November. What? I am telling you. We have 20 something days. I am today. telling you. Oh, wow. So, and there are still so many activities in this <laughs> month. You don't get. And I'm like, okay. God has not left heaven. No, but when, but when, there's the, money, there's when money. the alert enters, 
the song that comes to my mind is Blow Mama, Blow Mama, you know. <laughs> then you now the cruising, blow, you now then blow you the Then you now, yes, that's what happens. And you'll be blown away. <laughs> <laughs> On this note, Arike asked a couple of people this question at a recent event, and it's time for you guys to check out their responses. <laughs> TSM, it's Truth Syndrome Monday. Hi guys, it's Truth Syndrome Monday. It's your girl, Ari with the Dimples, and I'm right here at the 13th edition of the Headies Awards on the red carpet. I'll be asking people this question. If your bank account could sing, what Nigerian song title would you give it? Hmm, I know you are thinking. Do you have 30 billion in the account? Or is it a surreal situation? We will find out right here on the red carpet. Stay here with us. It's your girl, Ari with the Dimples. Take it away. TSM. Truth Syndrome Monday. My bank account could sing. Yeah. <laughs> oh my, it go hard, but I would say tennis billionaire. Mm, you wanna be? Are you a millionaire already? I am. Don't worry. Be, be happy. happy. So it means that yeah. your account is not encouraging. I didn't say that. That's no. what you are saying. <laughs> I a song with it. I already did. I'm you singing. Are singing. I'm dancing. Maybe that's not the way the song goes, though, but I'm done. It sounded like, don't worry, be happy to me. Whatever it is, it's like we're going on up. And that's all I can say. If it's about the bank account, we're not down, we're not up, but we're going on up. That's all I can say. They're just there, they're rising. <laughs> Give it a song title. Oh, rise and fall. <laughs> I don't know if there's a song like that, but probably singing One Day You Go Better. Mm. I don't know what song that would be. I'm trying to figure out a song that fits to that. One day, one day, one day you go better. Is that a song? Yes, that, it right? is a song. Who, who sang it? I'm sorry. I, I don't yeah, remember who sang it, but it's a song though. Oh, well, then that's the song where I can't sing it. Right? Hey, go better. <laughs> you know that. Ah. ah, ah. You go better. Tell everybody. I used you to think you were rich, I'm not. Wow. Yet. Give me love. Oh. Baby, me. I don't understand. Your bank account to be singing for love? Yes, because it needs some more love inside it. <laughs> this song will be, ah, uh, this one pass me, Baba. This one pass me, Baba. Who sang it first of all? And right now, we'll never release them. Baby, some mommy just just shed it. So, so your account will be playing with you. Of you, course. You'll be telling it to come and play with you. Of course. Do you have like billions or trillions? Amen. Soon. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. Baba God, do pick up the call. It be not fair up in the house. Really? So your bank account is begging God. I'm hustling. Listen, I'm trying to buy Bentleys and, and build houses. I'm trying to buy bears and, and stuff. Like, <laughs> if you don't get money, what do you get? So it means there's no money in your account. So say the cost one day. You are lying. <laughs> you are lying. You cannot be telling me that. <laughs> you, you won't know that until you check. <laughs> yo, yeah, yeah, yo. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. It sounds it, it sound like someone who is happy. You know, so, so you're happy with your account, but oh, yeah, yeah, but yeah. Uh -uh. Please, can I follow you? Uh, maybe tomorrow. Wow. <laughs> I'll, I'll be giving her that Rema. Is it Rema, right? Rema, yeah, that Rema kind of vibe. What are we talking yeah, songs? Very cool. Um, what's that one he did? Do maybe. Do, do maybe. You know that do maybe vibe. You know that. Do maybe don't, don't go carry belly. How yeah. does your account balance? I don't understand. Man, my account is always pregnant, man. Pregnant. My account is always, it's always getting hits. Can somebody please come and get Brian my out of this? Always getting hits. TSM, it's Truth Syndrome Monday. Guys, it's been crazy right here on the red carpet. I've heard so many hilarious songs and song titles. But if my bank account could sing, what song, what Nigerian song title would I give it? I don't know. It go be. Honestly, I don't know. Maybe when I get into the studio, I'll think about it. So for now, let's take it over to the studio. TSM. I have a problem. Why is it that everybody right now is forming broke? Aside from Godons, who I, I agree mean, that his account is popping. <laughs> or is your account... See, even if you are not broke, by the time you declare that you are not broke, you'll be broke. See, because the amount of DMs and messages that you're going to get... Let me change my story, because everybody is just saying bad things. See, my account right now is singing, am I a Yahoo boy? Because uh, there's money inside. Wow. OJ, so lunch on you today? Eh? On credit? Lunch, 
dinner. Only for, only pot, in fact, pot. lunch for the week on you. I don't have money. I changed ah. my mind. <laughs> <laughs> You even wonder why every time these people don't believe me. They just believe that. You know, when you, I'm saying these things, they're saying, saying honey pot, like, 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 like. You like, businesswoman, you have they, money. Uh, <laughs> you are saying the, businesswoman, the, you're looking at the Amanda. The jewel in Amanda, the Amanda, crown. Amanda uh -huh. is always receiving calls like, put it there, <laughs> Madam CEO, direct. <laughs> it's not like that. <laughs> okay. We'll be back to take your responses <laughs> on social media and calls to stay here. <laughs> Yes, we're back and it's still Truth Syndrome Monday. And of course, I've been asking this very interesting question that what if you could give your, you know, your bank account a Nigerian song title, what will it be? And we have said us. Yeah. And I want to hear you. Mine used to change. Used to change. Depending. Beginning of the month, mm. I'm not a hell boy. Yeah. <laughs> because money is plenty inside the account. Then it gets to a particular level. Mid month, and you are kind of saying, easy, JJ, you are broke already. Easy, oh. JJ. <laughs> End of the month. End of the month. <laughs> You go better. You go better. better. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Nice we have people talking to us. And so we have Odo Okamaka here who says, God will make a way. God will make a way. Hey, yeah. Where there seems to be no way. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. This one is from Ola Tumboso Aminat. And she says, Ele Damio by Ola Mide. Mio. Mm. Mio. And she now even put a figure. Mio. 107 naira, 50 kobo. Ah, you have right now. That's a lot of money. <laughs> That's oh, a lot wow. of money for the bank to remove their charges every month. Charges, oh. <laughs> so that when they send money to you, they will not still remove yeah. from. <laughs> Check it out on more tweets at Adeboyega Alabi on Facebook says, Ori me by Brother Shaggy. <laughs> <laughs> Brother Shaggy's uh, song. He's like, poverty, poverty. <laughs> like, say, Whoa. poverty. They'll <laughs> <laughs> come and knock the door. Bang, 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 bang. When are you going to pay? <laughs> 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 All right, we have a caller on the line. MCG boy was good. Hey, <laughs> was goodie. Was something goodie, honey. Was something goodie. I have missed you, my Juju. Ju -ju -ju. My last shout out to only for the only one for the only for the Jawo Shapra Prani slot. Please, it's about four. Ah, next one. The one online, the one without us. But imagine a lot of calls that people are having. Let's give a bump shot. OJ is here. Respect, tell him King OJ. Oh, yeah, highness, finest, baddest, finest. Is that okay? Hey, okay, my guy is handsome. Give them. Okay, say yours. Okay, anywhere uh, you go, not with every bus are for you. Uh, Hello, I'm on that Jara. How far? I'm on that Jara without mascara. Hey, here's this flash. On Jara. <laughs> See, I have seen Sarah, Clara, and Samara. Wow. Wow. MCG boy, you are blowing our minds. MCG boy, you don't uh, make me mara. MCG boy, what? <laughs> MCG boy, hello. She can draw so can we go wale? Okay, let's go there. <laughs> What's your bank account title? The song <laughs> title. Now, my bank account title. You guys can help me relate to that. And I, it has to do with you with Aluagu. <laughs> when you hear my bank account is telling you Kako be chicken. <laughs> <laughs> so now you have me put that expression like kako be chicken when you kako like chai chai that kako thing I do my balance now thank you for calling you have blown thank you <laughs> oh, wow. is just a character <laughs> I am telling you I wow. mean we need such energy ginger <laughs> Timon Tibitus here says empty by Kobams are super me wow. Seth I don't know this song <laughs> like empty <laughs> please sir no no this song <laughs> Check it out some more too. This one is um, on Facebook. This one is from Tosi Oguns, and she says, Danger <laughs> by, by Peace Square. Square. <laughs> <laughs> and this one is from Ola Jide, and he says, Money by Adekunle Gold. Uh, you, have uh -huh. you have money. You have money. See, send Maybe us. Maybe we need to hear that song, no. though. How does it go? Money, money, yeah, ah, hey. So you have money. Please mm. send us a message on social media at King OJ. I'll send you my account number. Thank wow. You. Izuwa Biko Sen <laughs> says, I can't keep myself for hey, Is that a good thing or that means you have so money? So that means you have money. So you have a lot of things and then you are chopping. No, it might not mean no, it might mean you don't have money, but you can't kill yourself because you didn't offend anybody. So it's just uh, <laughs> so I can't keep myself. Both you ways. Know, I've been singing that song for a while, so like I can't keep myself. I mean, I can't oh wow, this one is from Obina Kechuku and he says the money where we get. The no. money where we get, to, oh, you know. Oh, show, amen. amen. Hey, ja. Yeah. Oh, that's still the money is there, but God, don't let it finish. It's just small. All right, Hi. we have another caller on the line. Hello, good afternoon. Hi, Christian. Hello. 
How far now? How are I'm you? I'm good, though. I'm good, though. <laughs> this is your good, though. All right, tell us like now. Like this matter for ground, though. I'm <laughs> born in Babylonia. I'm born in Babylonia. Tell me. Bad as Babylonia. Ah, really? <laughs> I swear. Sing, uh -uh. sing that song. Sing that song by Tiny Babylonia. I wanna be I don't hear a child. I don't you sing that very well. When Wait, I Kristen. Hear a bear, don't pause. Kristen. What Kristen. Should I send you my account number? Oh, yeah, send that number. Hey. Hey. Send you account number. You no, 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 Christian, we all have to send our account yeah. numbers. Don't send them. <laughs> oh, yeah, let me do it like this. Let me do it like this. Let me. Thank you very Thank much you. for calling, Christian. Bilona. Bilona. Thank you. Well, that's very nice. I'm happy to hear that some people are... I mean, this year has been a better year financially than so, yeah, last yeah. year. I think for everybody. Uh -uh, I think for your every, mind. No, Never. because last year was horrible mm -hmm. for everybody. Mm -hmm. Well, okay, I'll speak for myself. It's better. Now. It's a better year. <laughs> As Eleni, your Omar um, 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 says, 49.99 standing. Oh, my God. Wow. I get money before... Standing. I oh. get money before no be property. property. Oh, hey. Hey. So this person doesn't have hey. money. It doesn't have money. Is that what it means? Yeah. Yeah, money. Before. Yeah. So <laughs> Ben now Emeka hears. I'm sorry. How did I even sound like my mom, right? <laughs> <laughs> ben now Emeka says, "Am I featuring YJ?" One day. That's what you have well, in your account. One million. Baby, you got me. Because the bank accounts got him. Whether it's one naira, one, one million. million. But right now, it's one naira. No, maybe he's going to got you. Yeah, I don't uh, know uh, that uh, English. Uh, uh, hey, 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 uh, uh, hey, hey. Uh, uh, hey, but hey. It's not talking about Nigerian girls. Hey. It's Nigerian girls Even though you more girls, you know. Baby, got uh, him. For oh, love. I said, no, baby, we got you. Sorry. Do you like that English? <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so we have more messages. And this one is from Adeni, Adeni Kian. He says, um, Lord, we make a way where there seems to be no way. God will answer your prayers. Okay, Amen. receive it. Amen. So let's just rush the ones we got on Twitter. At Clinton White says, Fino the bag. Okay, Clinton, I'll, we'll send you a deal. Please, please. Quickly. We are friends. We are friends. <laughs> <laughs> Our Cocomatic here says, The reason with me by Ruth. <laughs> Slow down, calm down. That's the money. Reason we see. Why are you walking yourself down is audio money? Nobody has said audio money though. Mm, so we're all having real money. Real money. No, real money. Because we are not like we're people not on Instagram just doing lao lao. Lao lao spending. Ah, nobody has even said that one by LD now, the There's group. No no Anyways, we have more tweets and this one is from Dan Cruz Beats. And he says kiss Daniel by no do. We have a call. Hello. Hello, good afternoon. Good afternoon. How are you? I'm fine, I'm fine. Yes. Yeah, so, so tell us, what's the Nigerian song title to your bank account right now? <laughs> it's born up for you. <laughs> yeah, you. Yeah, you. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mm. Uh -huh. Wait, 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 wait you so know, you are rich, oh? No, yeah, no, yeah, no. in a good way. It can, uh, yeah, I'm not sure it can be in a good way. Is it yeah, in a good way? Like, yeah. I can't believe what I'm doing. Like, <laughs> <laughs> no, because even if you listen to the song, yeah. No, yeah. it was what now says, mm, aha, that one is not a good <laughs> no, thing. No, but wait, when you hear that, you know that there's no money. Yeah, and then he said it was okay, it was cool. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. In a good way. Yeah, yeah, then you now do, mm, aha. No, 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 it's bad. <laughs> I can't believe this. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for your calls and thank you for your tweets and, of course, from um, your Facebook messages. We see all of it. Mm -hmm. That's a wrap on today's show. And as usual, be at peace with yourself. For mm. me, myself, and I, King OJ in the building, Onipot, and, of course, Amanda, we say be at peace with yourself. And we'll see you guys tomorrow. Only part has money. I don't yeah, have money. No. OJ is taking care of lunch for the week. I will yeah. send all of you my account number. <laughs> <laughs>